Mason City, Dakota 19, Mike, taxi from the ramp, runway 30 for takeoff. Mason City. All right, guys and gals, welcome back. We just got through getting our guts full up here at Mason City. Taco Tuesday Taco was good. Taco Tuesday. I had a burrito. What'd you have, Maddie? I had tacos, rice, and beans. Oh. And I had just the tacos. But it's cold. You see us all bundled up <laughs> in here today. We have blankets on in our coat. It got cold. It was pretty good, though. It's freezing. All right, we've got everything set up. We're going to go back at... Set it at 5,500. I'll probably end up going back at 7,500, a little bit better tailwind. In fact, I'll go ahead and set that in there. Mason City Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation 2019 er Zulu. Wind 240 at 13. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 04 Celsius. Dew point minus 09 er Celsius. Altimeter 3027. Instruments, green. Autopilot, configured. Fuel selector, fullest tank. Fuel pump, on. Carburetor heat, cold. Primer, locked. Mixture, set. Propeller, full forward. Seat belts, fastened. Flaps to, set. Trim tabs, set neutral. Controls, free and correct. Door, closed and latched. Cockpit fan, off. Brakes, released. Heading bug, set. Altimeter, set. Put the scores to this new. Checklist complete. Mason City, Dakota 1 out of Mike, taking runway 30, departure to the south, southeast, Mason City. Mason City, traffic Cherokee 436, when X-ray is turning left downwind for runway 30, Mason City. All right, here we go. Mason City, traffic out of the 529 Alpha Mike, X, seeing the pattern to the east. Five knots. Clean it up. Flaps up. Alright, I have that traffic in sight. Okay. Oh, and it's on downwind. We'll go ahead and start getting up in the air now. 
Landing lights coming off. Traffic, that's everything up off turn final, two, three, cover. All right, we're on a south heading now. Still got that traffic in sight. And we'll go ahead and go up with Minneapolis. All right, 67483, contact Waterloo Approach, 118.9er. Over to Waterloo Approach, 67483. Rexy, uh, 37 uh, heavy yards, thank you. Minneapolis Center, Dakota, 69er, 19er, Mike. Right, 61, uh, I'm sorry, 69er, 19er, Mike, go ahead. Just off Mason City through 2,700 climbing, 7.5 destination is Davenport Delta, Victor November, request flight following. And can you give me the uh, phone call sign, was it 69 or 100 Mike? That's it, 69 or 100 Mike. Number uh, 69 or 100 Mike, squawk uh, uh, 2642. 2642, 100 Mike. Six nine or one nine or Mike Ritter contact. So we'll call it uh, two miles south of the Mason City Airport, city altitude. Passing through three point five for one hundred Mike. For one hundred Mike, Roger that altitude checks and uh, see again your uh, taper graph. It's a P twenty eight Bravo Slam Golf. Guy was 5378, Minneapolis Center. Answer to center maintain 8000, the Sioux Falls, altimeter 3022. I got the sun this time. Yeah. And I got the coat and the blanket, so now I'm in trouble. You in bad shape. No heat, you're freezing. You in bad shape. You about to get thrown when you spur this mule dream catcher cowgirl. Woo. <laughs> wish you hadn't had that jacket on now, ain't you? I was shivering though. No, we we'll get it off if you, you want. My nose right. was Once running. we level off, I can, we can get it off. It's no big deal. It's okay. Number 762 Tango Charlie, contact Minneapolis Center 135.0. 3502 Tango Charlie, good day. Good day. Coming up to 5,000 feet now, climbing to 7.5, and we're still doing 900 feet per minute climb. Capital Center, November 80118. This mule high. is a beast. Number 80118. Yeah, we'll have a tailwind. Call about 15 to 17 knots, is what it said. Number 80118, uh, Reggie, we'll thank you. Uh, thanks for the heads yeah. up. Maintain VFR. The uh, updated uh, Fort Dodge altimeter 3029. 3029 to maintain VFR. 80118. Many. Uh, King Air 810 Bravo Sierra. 
Contact them on approach one three five point two. One three five point two. Good day. Good day. Our six nine or one nine or mic contact to Waterloo approach one one eight point nine. One eight point nine or one nine or mic. See ya. Good day. Waterloo approach, Dakota 69 or 19 Mike, 7,000 climbing 7.5. Dakota 69 or 19 Mike, Waterloo approach, Roger, Waterloo off of 3029 and south. 2.9 on the meter, passing through 7.2 for 7.5, 19 Mike. Dakota 19 Mike, Roger. Cessna 8, Tango Tango, house approach terminate. 8, Tango Tango, touch and go, and then back to CID. All right, we're leveling Cessna off. Cessna 8, Tango Tango, red. Fuel pump's coming on. That's how close I am. No. Yeah, I can't fix. So, so we're at 61% power. 
We're barely sipping fuel at 11.5 gallons an hour. Citation one of our pop contact tower upgrade. Leveled off at 7,500, and we're doing 183 miles an hour over the ground. Ah. Oh, good tailwind. Yeah, 160 knots. Now the coat's coming unsnapped, so I have the sun. Well, let's take it off if you coming. want to. It's okay. It's, let's take it's it a huge heck of a lot of nah, work. Nah, it ain't nothing to it. We can handle this business. Just, just do one arm at a time. <laughs> there you go. Now, hold that one back here, and I'll hold this one for you. There you go. Our stretch limousine isn't super big. Yep. Maddie, can you funnel that to the back, right over your back of your head? Just Doesn't let it rock. Tango, tango, turn right in. Two, three, zero. Thank you. Pushing it. There you go. Tango, tango, two, three, zero. Feels good on the legs, though, the blanket stuff. Yeah. Freezing, Mads? A little bit. <laughs> your nose is running? Uh-huh. But it's a beautiful sunny day, what it we've is. been wanting. Let's see what the temp is up here. I'm a guess, 36. 32. All right. Yep. Now you can check that, Maddie, from what it was when we left back there. So at this altitude, at pretty standard temperatures, yeah. you can uh, subtract two degrees for every 1,000 feet. Oh. That's pretty close. Forget I got two batteries in my pocket here. That ain't no good. The batteries? Yeah, because I don't want you to wash them and then you start putting more paint on coming after me. I wash a heck of a lot of stuff. I think I've even washed a can of chew. I've washed Sharpie markers. I've washed Grant's chew. I've washed... I don't know. Chapstick all the time. Money's the best. I keep it. You thief. <laughs> well, why do you wash the money? So you, so it makes you feel better because you're not stashing dirty money? Yeah. Gotcha. You have enough room, Maddie, for me to lean back like this? Okay. Is my seat hitting you, Maddie? You're good. Like, do I have room to move back? No. Oh. <laughs> That's what I didn't say. That ain't bad, 157 knots. We'll be home in 46 minutes already. Yep. That's fast. That was a good restaurant. I mean, it, the, that's the fun of going and flying to it more than yeah. the... Yeah, we That was the best Mexican food. Well, I mean, you don't never go for... Uh, there's some places that's got great food. We got to go like to the Essence. steakhouse and stuff, yeah, too. Yeah, we're going to try that out. But it's all good when you can fly to it, right? Because that's the reason we're flying to it is... Uh, find a place that has food on the field. And if we lived on the coast, we'd be flying the coastline to foods. But yep. we live on the farm coast. Well, it's beautiful in its own right. It is, especially when it's green. Yeah, you can see it greening up at the house and stuff, or when you're down on the ground, but up here it doesn't seem. Can't there see no green up here. Yep. It usually doesn't look green from up here, though. Yeah, you can see the What's really? Well, when they plant, and especially when it comes up. Yeah. You know, and you got green corn and green soybeans. A lot of the alfalfa fields. 
What am I doing wrong? Ugh. Cessna 8 Tango Tango, you're 3 miles from Ivo's turn right, heading 280, maintain VFR until established on the localizer, cleared localizer back course, runway 30 approach. 8 Tango Tango, 280, maintain altitude until established on um, localizer, cleared for the 30 approach. Maddie, I have full bars up here. Me too. Wow. We didn't come in though. I mean, it's coming and going. Cessna 8 Tango Tango, you can fly heading 260, still clear for the approach. 8 Tango 260. We get to go to Florida next month. We're going down to Marco Island. Yes. I'm excited. Maddie convinced, well, Maddie convinced me to book a trip to Florida. I um, need for a girls trip, but we had to have a... Gotta have a chaperone. Gotta have a babysitter. <laughs> uh, gotta have a chaperone. I mean, it's a hard job, but somebody's gotta do it. <laughs> Chad said, over my dead body. Oh no, my girls don't go somewhere like that without me. No, no ma'am. So anyways, we're going to Marco Island, staying on the beach. Y'all do whatever days. you want. Don't even worry about me. Oh, it's total pool. Pool, bed, pool and, uh, bed, I'm gonna swim shop, out in the ocean now. eat, pool, bed, shop, eat. Yep. As long as I come back tan, that's all I care about. That's one thing I can say uh, that is quite different from living down south, you know, my whole life. And I moved up here. And uh, the biggest difference with aviation in mind is that there's not nearly as many places to fly up here. Uh, you know, you got places you can go, but not like where I'm from. I mean, you, you just day trips were amazing down there because from where I lived, a day trip for me would have been Panama City, Destin, Florida, any day of the week if you wanted to go west. Right? Oh. I mean, uh, east. I need to go see the ocean. And you just... North, you could go up. Uh, a day trip would be uh, Arkansas, and you'd have a lot of stuff to do. And then, of course, east, you, uh, west, you could go for Galveston or around Tango Union Tango and all that stuff. But, you know, Tango 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 Casinos and stuff down there, like along Biloxi and Gulf, Gulfport and all that stuff. Gulf Shores, Alabama, you got all these places you can fly to within just a, an hour or two. And you got a seafood, you know. Oh, my favorite. Well, you hate seafood, but for an old Southern cowboy, that's, that's I miss that a lot. That's uh, 738 Tango Tango, contact tower, talk to you in a bit. You can totally tell our difference in how we were brought up. I wasn't brought up on seafood because, I mean, we have seafood, but just not seafood. Yeah. Well, y'all seafood comes from where I was from, and it's frozen. It's got to be frozen to get up here, so. And uh, they've got quite a few people in Iowa that like seafood. Yeah. But I'm talking about raw oysters and crawfish and all that stuff. I miss that. Jerky 048, contact tower. Jerky 048, going to tower. It's a lot windier up here than it is down south, flying. That's a fact. Um, you know, we have winds, but nothing like y'all have. 654 Alpha Tango, contact Chicago. I should say, we're not, you're not flying us to Florida. We did have to book a commercial uh, flight yeah. because we weren't sure if your payment would be out of annual. Right, so we, had, we couldn't, I, couldn't take that risk. Had to play it safe. Yep, had to do it that way. That's okay. You know, when you got to be, when you're going that far away, and you have to be at a certain place at a certain date, you know, that's not so bad getting there, but when you know you got to be back, like you got to be back to babysit the grandbaby on certain days, when you got to be back, and lots of people, they have to go to work, right? Yep. 
I mean, we're we're retired for the months. So we're kind of lucky, we're fortunate to, to be able to do that. But if you got to be we're back a certain time, that's an awful long ways to go in a in a small airplane. You really have to have. I like to do two days flexible either uh, at either end. If you can't make it, and sometimes you have to cut your trip short. Yeah. Right. So that's just it's less stress if you just go commercial that far. So we booked on United Airlines again. Yep. There's an airport. Yeah, that's Waterloo. Oh, we're already back in Waterloo. Oh yeah. Yep, there's Waterloo right there. Well, ain't much going on. I guess we'll turn on some music. All right. Put the fast forward on for the guys and gals. And, uh, hey, if you think about it, smash that like button. That's what they say. They don't say mash it. I've been saying it wrong. They say smash it. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. That's what they do down on the bottom right-hand corner of that screen. And we'll catch y'all when we get closer to Davenport, and we'll get the, uh, the approach and the land and everything. I'll slow it back down. See ya. Bye. Alright guys and gals, here we go, let's I put this peace sign up there so I know the one to undo the face forward. Okay, I see two echo approach. <laughs> that means, you know, you're saying everyone behave. Yes, y'all behave and quit all this Back stuff y'all been right doing. Fly heading zero oh, we're 11 zero minutes out now, two and a half minutes to the top of descent. Looks like uh, Roger is we'll go to Mary runway 21. Two 3,000 company traffic. Looks like that'll be our best runway. I don't see anybody in the traffic pattern, so if there's nobody in there, we might just do a straight into 21. Is that it? Oh, it's okay. Oh my gosh. There you go. What's that? <laughs> I touched it. That's all right. Is it that, that that tower we saw? That this? The pink thing. What pink thing? The uh, box. Right yes, here. yes, yes. Oh, that's airport. Okay, then negative 22 is the other guy that you're saying yeah, is no factor. Yeah, he's 2,200 feet below us. Oh, that's, that means... That's the direction he's going. That's what that means, 2,200 feet below us. Oh. If he was climbing or descending, he'd have an arrow out here with either up or down. Oh. So you will know that. Plenty of time to get set up. Yeah, nothing to it. Are you freezing now since I turned oh, it Oh, no, up? I'm fine. Okay, good. I'm just right. Echo traffic at your uh, 12 to 1 o'clock. You ought to be yeah, turning us over to uh, traffic stop the direction 3,000. Quad cities here just any second. I wonder why people Number don't do that. Mike, contact Quad City approach 125.95. Good day. 2595, 100 Mike, see you. Watch this approach to go to 691 on a mic, 7,500. I'll be starting my VFR descent in one minute. Dakota 691 under my quad city approach got your noon altimeter 3027 and uh, VFR altitude is at your discretion in that port. 27 on the meter, one on a mic.
What I was going to ask is why do some pilots choose Cedar Rapids choose not to have flight following? It's, in my lane minds, it seems dangerous. Yeah, well, it is to me. Some people just don't like all the talking. It's just a uh, pilot preference. My preference is safety all the time. And I like somebody with an extra set of eyes looking out for me. Because I like to look around and relax to the music and look at what's going on on the ground. That's just the way I fly. Most I, people do that, you know. Do they? Yeah. At a I certain altitude, do you have to be followed? Depends on the airspace you're in. Okay. Yep. Leaving altitude. Ground speed is 200 miles an hour over the ground. Called home. Yep. Plus we're in a descent. Yep. And I don't see anybody in the pattern, so we'll probably just do a straight in to 2 1. I like Davenport because everyone talks to each other. It yep. seems. There's, there's a few of them that don't have radios, contact. you know, the small planes, but they, the they know what they're doing section. pretty much, you know? Never had no problems out there. That was me. I was itching my foot. Sorry, it was on the rudder. I had a little itch, so... <laughs> Approach helicopter 305, Mike Fox got off our base for our line eye hospital 1100. All right, I got the field inside. Helicopter 305, we're 20 miles away. City approach, ident, altimeter 3027. 027, ident, and uh, again 1200 for 1500. Helicopter 5 Mike Foxtrot, radar contact 900 miles east of the Quad City Airport. Proceed on course to Lion Eye. If I can get the landing air inside. Helicopter 5 Mike Foxtrot, roger. And uh, after a lie, and I uh, what's I'll the kind of ease over to the left here a little and, bit, uh, kind of set us up for a little better. Fuel, yeah. Straight Burn. in for two one. That's an interesting helicopter to a line eye. That's the hospital. Does that mean it's med back? Yes. Yep. That can feel us descending today. All right, two hundred ten miles an hour over the ground. That's why. No. Oh. It's just we're coming down pretty fast is all. No, that's what I can feel, yeah. I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to come off of manifold pressure a little bit, kind of slow us down. About 20 inches ought to do me fine. And there is one person in the, in the pattern. That's it, Victor Victor, so that, that's a guy that flies in and out there quite a bit. I probably wouldn't fly with any other pilot, just so you know. Oh, heck. That makes me feel good. That's it, five, zero, There's three, lots of things I can figure out that you shouldn't do with any other pilot. <laughs> And Quad Cities approach Dakota 100 Mike, I go ahead and terminate. Dakota 100 Mike, Roger. Radar service terminated. Squawk VFR and change to advisory frequency is approved. And it looks like there's uh, at least a Cherokee possibly in the pattern uh, about a half mile east of Davenport Airport. Out in indicates 1,800. And yeah, have a good night. 100 Mike, we'll see ya. See ya. That poor traffic Dakota 190 Mike. Five and a half miles to the west inbound for landing. We'll cross over midfield for left downwind for 2 1. That port. All right.
Alright, we are at pattern altitude. Are we going in this way? We are. We're going to cross over the field and then turn left to come in the runway to land that way. That's what crossover means, duh. Gas is on the proper tank. Fuel pump is coming on. Undercarriage is down and bolted. Mixture is set. Proper getting a minute. Seatbelts bumped. Down for traffic. Is zero zero Victor Victor left base runway two one. All right, landing light is on. Oh. And we're on the fullest tank, so we'll just stay there. Some of traffic, Cherokee five six four six zero six miles. Uh, out of the airport. Coming in for runway 31, a tough one. That poor traffic, Dakota 19 Mike, 1800 feet, 3 miles to the west northwest. We'll cross over midfield for left downwind, runway 21, Davenport. Victor, Victor, final, runway 2-1, touch and go. I was looking for him. He's on final approach, I got him in sight. Davenport traffic to go to 19 Mike, 1800 feet approaching midfield for left downwind for 2 1 Davenport. Traffic, 11 o'clock, low. Got him on the ground. Autopod disconnect. ESP off. Davenport traffic go to 19 Mike, left down wind 21 Davenport. Alright. We're at flat speed. Flaps one. We'll go ahead and go full prop. That'll help us slow down. That board traffic to go to one out of my left face, two on that board. Flaps two. Alright, looking for 80 knots. Don't see nobody out there. Stand for traffic, A00, Victor, Victor, left downwind, runway 21. I still haven't seen him. Stand for traffic, to go to 19 Mike, turning final, runway 21, down 4. Runway's made, full flaps. 80 knots. Looking for 70. Eight zero zero zero, Victor Victor, on the down when we have that traffic on final place. 500. Okay, I got you in sight. A little crosswind going on here. Same with Mason City. Yeah. Uh, 
Alright, there's my 70 knots. Traffic, hey, zero, zero, Victor, Victor, turning left base, runway 21. See, I got a little bit to the right of center line because the wind's blowing this way. Oh. They come in a little gust or something, I don't want to be too far. It gives you a little bit of lead way, you know. Usually I don't break like this, but I got a guy practicing wanting to come in, so I'll go on and break and get out of his way. Usually I just use runway because I'm the one paying for the brakes. Oh. All right, landing lights off, fuel pump is off, flaps up. Step for traffic, A00 Victor Victor, final runway 21, touch and go. Davenport traffic to go to one nine mile, clear the runway, Davenport. Manny, look at that jet. That. Holy cannoli. John Deere brings their jets in here and they pick their people up here, too. Alright guys and gals, we're back home at Davenport. Thank y'all for coming along with us. We had a good time, got our guts full. Hopefully the annual will go by and we'll get out of here again soon. Thank you.